10. Speaking of cost saving and life saving, that's how Texas's governor sees it as he's set to sign off on a bill to lower the cost of insulin in the state. KSLA News 12's Destiny Patterson in studio with the bill's progress. Destiny. Both chambers in the Texas legislature have passed Senate Bill 827. That means all that's left is Governor Greg Abbott's signature. Sarah Wilson has four kids with type 1 diabetes. It's like a mortgage payment for us to keep our children alive monthly. And for them, access to insulin is a matter of life and death. We have worked extra jobs to be able to afford their supplies. For many others across the country, they're forced to gamble with their health. There are many people in within the type 1 diabetes community who ration insulin because it's so expensive and who've died because of that. So Wilson says this bill is a step in the right direction. It caps the copay for insulin at $25 per 30 day supply for insured people, and it applies to all forms and types of insulin. Over the years, there have been a lot of um, bills and things that have come out that say that they're going to help, but at the end of it, when you kind of muddle through the whatever. There's not a lot of cost savings that's actually passed on to the consumer. Um, when I was reading this bill, it looks like it actually will. And People with diabetes have been consistently shelling out more and more money just to survive. Health experts say a large reason for this is a lack of competition between the companies who produce it. You don't get to just make more and more and more profit at the cost of other people's lives. It's just wrong. Wilson says she does worry that something like this could raise the price of insurance overall, but she is glad to see lawmakers trying to make insulin more affordable. Governor Abbott has 20 days to sign or veto the bill.